Okay, so the next example that we want to look at is the binomial series. Um, so the binomial series is something that you've probably encountered. Well, not the binomial series, but the binomial formula. All right, so the binomial formula is this result for expanding uh, powers of binomials, right? Inter positive integer powers of binomials. So this is something that uh, you've certainly seen before, you've probably made use of, right? You've, you've made use of it for doing quick calculations, like if you had to do, you know, something like x plus, I don't know, let's say 1. Could be 2. Let's do 2, right? So somebody says, okay, I need you to do x plus 2 to the fifth power, right? And, well, I guess one way you could do it is you can do x plus 2 times x plus 2 times x plus 2 times x plus 2 times x plus 2, right? You expand all that out, collect terms, simplify, um, but that, that's a bit of a mess. It's much easier if you've learned the binomial formula because then we know that this is just x to the 5 plus 5 um, times 2 times x to the 4 plus... Um, it's going to be 10, 2 squared, times x cubed. I might have that number wrong. Um, by the way, do we remember where these numbers come from, right? They come from this formula here. Uh, they also come from this Pascal's triangle, right? They all fit into Pascal's triangle, right? If you're squaring a binomial, 1, 2, 1, right? There's that 2 that goes on that cross term. Cubing a binomial, right? Fourth power. There we go. Fifth power. Ah, I did remember it right. Yeah. Um, so remember the way that you do Pascal's triangle is um, each entry is the sum of the two that are immediately above it on either side, right? So 4 plus 6 gives me 10, for example. Okay. So I can do that. And then 10 times 2 cubed times x squared, and then 5 times 2 to the 4 times x, and then finally 2 to the 5, right? You can quickly expand that out if this was, let's say, I mean, we could, we could clean this up, right? If we want to actually get everything done, that's x to the 5th, 10x to the 4, 40x cubed, 80x squared, um, 5 times 16 is also 80, and then 32, right? Sorry, this is x, just 80x, right? Okay, so that's all well and good. We can do this. It's pretty straightforward. Um, we've been doing it since Calc 1 and possibly before then. Comes in handy. But now we want to we wanna extend and say, okay, well, what if we wanted to do... What if we wanted to do something like the square root of x plus 2 rather than x plus 2 to the fifth, right? So, I mean, after all, x plus 2, is, this is still a power of a binomial, right? It's just that now it's a fractional power. So how do you, how do, you do that? Can you, can you expand? Is there a similar expansion formula that you can do? Um, that gives you a similar result, we'll find out. So we're gonna, we'll pause here, we'll move on to the next video, we're gonna introduce the binomial series. So the binomial series is what we get if we try to extend this idea of the binomial formula to powers which are not positive integers, right? So natural number powers, we get this usual binomial expansion formula, it terminates, right? We go, we kind of have the highest power of x, right? And it ends there. So now the question is, well, what if, um, what if we want to do some of this? What if we want to do a fractional power? What if we want to do a real number power? Can we still do it? Um, the answer will be yes, um, but we won't get a finite sum anymore. We'll get an infinite series.